to our classroom every Friday at around 12.45. Here's a video telling you what you can and cannot put into the recycling bin. My name is Bo. And my name is Colin. And today we're going to be talking about recycling. Did you know the average person has the opportunity to recycle more than 25,000 cans in their lifetime? Did you also know a single aluminum can can power a TV for three hours? Now, we've been, we, we'd like to discuss the recycling at our school. The leadership team comes around each week to collect the recycling, and sometimes there is gum, food, and garbage in the recycling bin. It doesn't belong there. You can put any paper or cardboard in the recycling bin. Also, bailing, balling up, balling up, paper, up the papers fills the bins too fast. Ripping up papers and putting them in bins also tend to make a big mess. Then the leadership team puts the papers into the dumpster. We find the most problems in this great hallway upstairs, the bin room, in the library. You can help out by making sure you are only putting paper products into the recycling container. Do not ball up your do not ball up or tear the papers into tiny pieces as this makes collecting it hard. Let's make our world at and FMS a better place by recycling our unwanted paper products responsibly. <laughs> About trying out. Cool, me too. Yeah, let's go to Brian in my interview with Mr. Poole to find out more about girls basketball. I'm Coach Poole. And today I'm going to be interviewing him for girls basketball. So what are you looking for like during tryouts in this season? So during tryouts, you know, we're, we're looking for girls that, you know, basically play the game like LeBron James. If you can't dunk, can't shoot the three, I'm just kidding, okay? We... You know, we're, we're just looking for girls who work hard, who want to have fun, and, and can get better at the game of basketball. Um, you know, the girls are you're, you're one year away in eighth grade from being a part of the high school program. So we want to just develop skills that will help uh, to win games at the high school and the varsity level someday. Um, how many players are you looking for this season? Uh, I think we're going to keep like 12 to 14 is kind of the number that we're going to be around. Uh, but it totally depends on who comes out and, and those kinds of things. Have you coached before? So I've coached basketball at a youth level before, uh, so this will be a new experience for me. But I have coached. Uh, I coached baseball at Grand Haven High School. Uh, we made it to the state semifinals last year, and I actually uh, was the head baseball coach of the Vietnamese national team, and we played in the Little League World Series. Uh, so I do have some coaching experience, just not a ton with basketball. Are you excited for this season? I'm really excited. It'll be fun. Uh, it's a short season, so we got to get a lot done in a short amount of time, but I'm really looking forward to it. It should be a lot of fun. And that's it for today. Last month we did what you were thankful for. This month we asked students about their holiday wishes. So let's take a look. What's your name and what grade are you in? My name's Hank Harper. I'm in eighth grade. What's your Christmas wish? Uh, for some new LeBron 15 ashes. Okay. Hey, Mr. Dillon, what's your Christmas wish? Uh, I don't really want a lot of things, but uh, for everyone to be happy, for everyone to be safe over the holidays, and to come back to school uh, ready to learn, and you know, for my family to uh, enjoy themselves. That's what I'm looking for. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay, what's your name? Jocelyn. What grade are you in? Seven. Now, what do you want for Christmas? Um, just clothes. Oh, okay. What's your name? What grade are you in? I'm Ryan. I'm in eighth grade. And what is your Christmas wish? Um, probably just get to Christmas. Oh. Oh. So what's your name? My name's Miss Hexel. Well, great. I teach seventh and eighth grade science. What do you want for Christmas? I would like people to get along more and for more Twixes in my candy basket. Okay. What's your name and what grade are you in? My name is David. I'm in seventh grade. And what do you hope Santa Claus brings you to the tree? So I'm Hot What's your name and what grade are you in? Holly and I'm in eighth grade. What's your Christmas wish? You get money. What's your name? Holly. What grade are you in? Eighth. Wait, wait, hold on, stop. What's your name and what grade are you in? I'm Ava and I'm in seventh grade. And what's your Christmas wish? To go back to Puerto Rico. Okay. 
If you guys want to help out with making sure kids in our Fruit Board community have presents under the tree, then you can donate unwrapped toys to the front office or your first hour. <laughs> the leadership class will pick them up during fifth hour. Our goal is to collect 100 gifts. Don't forget about box tops. The box tops end this semester, January 26, 2018. You better get those box tops in because there's a tie between first place, Miss Quartering, and Miss Kent's class. And third place is Miss Ball's class. But I heard Miss Renna's class is going to be everyone, so get those box tops in. This Thursday, sixth graders have a roller skating party at Jumpin' Jupiter. Bring an extra $5 if you want to rent in line skates. I remember going to sixth grade. It was fun. But don't forget money to spend on games and food. Your teachers would be very happy if you give them Sunny D labels. The labels could give your ELA teachers each 20 new books that you can enjoy. Woo, books. Reminder is that if you want to go outside during lunch, you have to have a coat. It's so cold. If you go outside, then you have to stay outside it to prevent floors from getting too slippery. You don't want anybody to fall. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> don't worry. Next Friday, on the 19th, 7th grade has a choir concert at... The Robins Wood Senior Living Center at 10.15 to 1 p.m. Well, I hope they do sing well. well too bad we have to go now. See you next week. Bye.